How wonderful. I'm standing between you guys and the beer. What a great place to be. I'm all ready for that. So is it loud enough? Can they hear me all the way in the back? Yes. I just got a thumbs up. No, what I meant is all the way in the back. Like, yeah, way back. Well, my name is Ron Benzeev, and I'm the uh, president and CEO of World Housing Solution. And so what I want to talk to you about today is the fact that no one cares about your solutions. They care about their problems. And currently, the current solutions that the US military is using is really a 10,000-year-old solution. Think about this. When we go on expeditions, we are deploying a cloth and a stick, a tent. This has been going on for thousands of years and hasn't really been improved upon all this entire time. So this quote for me symbolizes a lot of different things and, and we spent a lot of time thinking about how to innovate on that particular problem. And what we came up with is the concept of a rapidly deployable, easily buildable system that mimics a little bit the IKEA process. Think IKEA meets construction, simple to deploy, no special skills needed, no special tools, and most important, can be used again, again, and again. So you've heard a lot of experts talk for most of the day today about energy efficiency. And, and one of the things that very few people talked about is that one of the things that the most inefficient that we deploy today in the field are the housing, the jocks, all the various structures that we're deploying are completely inefficient and are really poor twins for the application of hybrid power. So as an example, one inch of our product is the same R value as an eight inch con concrete block. Even more to the point, it doesn't absorb any heat. You've all been there. You've touched a piece of, of concrete that's been sitting in the, in the desert sun for a while, and it doesn't refract the heat either. It is completely thermally neutral. So the reason behind it and what we're really pushing is stopping inefficient deployment. And right here in this particular example, you can see, oh, I'm not moving fast enough. So you see inefficient deployments using five ton air conditioners. So the problem with that is when you're thinking about how to power those air conditioners, you need fuel. And when you need fuel, you need to bring the fuel to the location. That's the most dangerous job that anyone ever does driving a convoy. That's the last thing anyone wants to do. So when you think about twinning that amount of, of energy that you need to run the power and the operating bases along with the challenges of doing that, you need to think about a more efficient way, which is what we're proposing. So what makes us unique? First of all, we use a fully insulated core that can be modified based upon the application. In this particular example and the sample that I have sitting over there, we're using an EPS foam core that can be easily changed to a variety of different foams depending on the actual application. What separates us, however, from virtually every other deployment capabilities is that for anything else that you build out there, you need flat ground. We don't. We use a patent pending proprietary leveling leg system that is still hurricane and earthquake resistant. As a matter of fact, our structures have already gone in different theaters of operation through typhoon, multiple thunderstorms, and a variety of, of different, um, of, of different uh, earthquake, um, excuse me, um, hurricanes. But what separates us the most is the fact that we can deploy above the ground. You don't need site improvement, you don't need bulldozers, you don't need to bring anything special to be, to be able to deploy this. So you're eliminating and shortening the time frame in order to be able to deploy this and add in the particular case a speed to, a speed to deployment that's really, really crucial. So if you think about this, even when you think about a tent, which is really one of the go-to solutions today, you still need to go ahead and level the ground, pour the concrete slab, especially for extended period of time, and then go ahead and, um, and establish a, uh, a, a, an entire site. It's dangerous, it's costly, it's time consuming. So our position is that the most logical choice is obviously structures like this one, which is currently in Mississippi, in Camp Shelby, made with our composite panels. 
That structure has already gone through five tropical storms, by the way, in one hurricane. So we're proven. We're already deployed in, uh, in a variety of different markets, including Africa, the US, as I mentioned, South Pacific, Caribbean, on their commercial applications, as well as uh, Europe, and soon to be some additional deployments within a variety of different areas. So one of the questions we get all the time is, how big can you make it, and what can you really do with this? And the reality is that your imagination is really your only limitation. This particular case is a structure that en encompasses both housing, morale welfare, latrines, laundry, and a variety of different things. That particular structure is roughly 3,800 square feet. It's 100 by 38. And again, you can see that what separates us are those leveling legs. Even that structure can be built above ground. Again, eliminated all the challenges and the problems with, with water runoffs and, uh, and, and issues with, um, with building it rapidly. So this is really one of our secret sauces. It's light. It can be deployed without heavy equipment. Men can carry it off the truck directly onto the site, build it rapidly, and carry it. Neither one of these two that are carrying this particular panel ever played in the NFL. So not very big guys are needed to be able to lift this and walk this. Ideally, four people are better in carrying it, because obviously if there's a big gust of wind, it becomes a, uh, a slightly uh, harder thing to deal with. Our system uses phenolic resin. One of the properties of phenolic resin, it's resistant to heat. It will not sustain combustion. It will not burn. It will actually turn, you know, put itself out if you, if you light a, a fire in front of it. One of the, one of the uh, recent programs we've been involved with is a fully operational off-the-grid uh, application for a variety of different members of, uh, of the force, particularly because of the ability to not only deploy it, be efficient off the, uh, you know, off the grid, and then take it apart and use it again. This is a slightly, uh, it's slightly clo a better close-up of a, a barrack, uh, the, the barracks in the team room that we talked about. And then one of our uh, m most impressive things that we've done so far, which is uh, we've designed an 8,400 square feet jock uh, talk combination with a general quarters attached to it, which will be uh, deployed. then go ahead and, and develop that. But we're not just doing structures, we're not just doing shelters, we are also involved in developing off-the-grid water and sewer solutions. So we currently have C-130 ready all the way up to an 8x20 containerized approach that provides you everything from desalination plants, water and oil separators, water filtration, down back again to um, black water to gray water uh, filtration and ground water back to potable. So our approach is really to find what is the problem, what keeps our customers up at night and try to come up with solutions that are both efficient and also cost effective. And as I said earlier, we are the perfect integration for all the hybrid power and solar that you've heard about for the variety, of, you know, for all the, all the people that have talked earlier. This is the go-to solution. If you really want to maximize the impact of hybrid power, battery, solar, and wind, the only way to do it is with a highly efficient, well-insulated structure, and really that's what we're providing. We are light and strong. These two panels that you see right there weigh less than 14 pounds but yet they carry 1,000 pounds each. And by the way, one of those two panels that you see on the presentation is actually standing right there next to my, uh, ne next to my little table. So if you want to go and check it out and, and, and look at, at how, how it works and how it doesn't deflect, I'm happy to show it to you. Again, it's light and strong. This is an entry control point, a guard shack that we built. There are two people standing on the roof. This whole thing takes about 40 minutes to build. It's fully insulated. 
And then I want to revisit with you real quickly is the fact that, again, those are the same two units. That particular structure was built, taken apart, and rebuilt four times until it sits currently in Camp Shelby and used as an office. We're developing products all the time. We're currently working on a fairly unique thing, which is a field deployable skiff that can be towable and built by hand with simple tools in the middle of nowhere and provide our, our warfighters with a secure environment for communications. And obviously also trying to figure out better and faster ways to deploy our systems so a self-deployable rigid, uh, uh, rigid uh, system. So again, we're proven, easy to build. You can read this, it's off-grid, mold, mildew, and rot proof. You can bleach this and clean it off, no termites, and it can be made ballistic resistant and still movable by hand. So a lot of, a lot of ways to address a lot of issues along the way. Again, my name is Ron Benzie. My information is going to be on the screen, and I'm there. If you have any questions, happy to answer them. Thank you, Ron. That was excellent and perfect timing.